Hey what's up guys, Will here for GSM Arena. The release of Samsung's new flagship lineup, the Galaxy S21 series, is just around the corner, and as always, quite a bit of info has leaked ahead of the official announcement. Let's break down what we know so far about the Galaxy S21, S21 Plus, and S21 Ultra. There have been quite a few leaks as to the appearance of the S21 lineup. You'd think the phones would all be made from Gorilla Glass, but the vanilla S21's back is plastic, just like the vanilla Note 20. Still, they all have flagship grade IP68 waterproofing. According to the rumors, there are going to be a bunch of color options, 11 leaked so far. They probably won't all be available at launch though. An interesting touch you'll notice is that the rectangular camera bump wraps around the edge of the device. The vanilla S21 is the smallest model, with this flat 6.2 inch display. The screen of the S21 Plus is also flat, and a bit bigger at 6.7 inches. And the S21 Ultra's curved display is the largest at 6.8 inches, though that's still a bit smaller than last year's S20 Ultra. We've never seen infinity displays like these before. They're not only protected by Gorilla Glass Vetus, but they all have a super fast 120Hz refresh rate, with no downgrade in resolution like last year. While the S21 and S21 Plus have a 1080p resolution, the Ultra is in QHD, all at 120Hz. You get an under-display fingerprint reader, but there is a small punch hole for the selfie camera. There's no under-display tech in this department yet. The S21 and S21 Plus have a 10 megapixel selfie cam, and the Ultra's is 40 megapixels. Let's continue with the cameras. The S21 and S21 Plus have a triple camera setup on the back, which looks quite similar to last year's, with a 12 megapixel main cam, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, and a 64 megapixel telephoto cam that uses cropping to achieve a 3x zoom at 12 megapixels. In contrast, the S21 Ultra has four cameras on the back. There's a 108 megapixel main cam, a 12 megapixel ultra wide with autofocus, and an upgraded zoom setup consisting of a 10 megapixel 10x folded periscope zoom and a traditional 10 megapixel 3x telephoto. Plus, the setup has laser autofocus. The Galaxy S21 series will be powered by either a Snapdragon 888 chipset or an Exynos 2100 chipset, both brand new and cutting edge. You get 8 gigs of RAM on the lower models and 12 or 16 gigs on the Ultra. Expect excellent performance on all of them, as well as 5G connectivity. The interface of the S21 series will be Samsung's new One UI 3.1, which integrates plenty of new features from Android 11. It's a notch above the One UI 3, which Samsung is ceding to current phones, accounting for a few proprietary features. One of these is something new to the S series, S Pen support. It's only on the S21 Ultra, but it looks like you'll have all the functionality you'd get on a Note phone. However, you'd have to buy the stylus separately. And since there's no compartment on the phone to store it in, your best bet would be a case that can hold the S Pen. There are two options for storage on the S21 and S21 Plus, 128 or 256 gigs, and it's not expandable. The S21 Ultra also has an option for 512 gigs, and it's the only one to have a micro SD card slot. And battery size is quite different between the models. The S21 has a 4000 mAh battery, the S21 Plus has a 4800 mAh battery, and the S21 Ultra has a 5000 mAh one. The lower tier models support 25 watt quick charging, while the S21 Ultra supports 45 watts. There is support for wireless charging too. But you better have a charger at home, because this year, just like Apple and the new iPhones, Samsung doesn't include any charger with its S21 phones. And finally, the rumored price. At the lowest storage option, we're looking at 850 euros for the vanilla S21, 200 euros more for the S21 Plus, and 1350 euros for the S21 Ultra. Pre-orders should start after the announcement, and sales should start on January 29th. So there you have it guys. Based on these leaks, the Galaxy S21 phones look like fine flagships that bring together some of the most competitive features you can get right now. The upcoming official launch is scheduled for this Thursday, in two days time, so we'll be around to report how it goes and if there are any surprises. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and see you on the next one.